Hello everyone, Mitch Daniels with one of our occasional updates to the Purdue community. And while the message is for everyone, I'm speaking specifically today to our students, even more particularly to our incoming first time students. We can't wait to welcome you here and apparently you can't either. You have applied in record numbers and uh, accepted our admissions offers at a record rate. So all signs point to a full and thriving campus of well-prepared uh, students again this fall. That's become a familiar scene here at Purdue, but what won't be familiar is many of other features of life in this time of this terrible pandemic we've been through. We are out to be the most prepared, the safest campus we can be for you and for every other uh, member of the Purdue family who is here to help you with uh, your education and help you launch your life. So you'll see face coverings, there'll be more cleaning than ever before, and there'll be a lot of distance, not just the social distance we've all learned to practice, but uh, more distance between classes, smaller uh, gatherings of all kinds. Undoubtedly, we will have to forego many of the big events that are a typical part of campus life, at least for a while, and limit the size of groups who get together in person. We'll be testing people and tracing those who do prove to have uh, caught this infection for their own protection and for the protection of others. And we'll use all the technology that Purdue and our many partners can uh, summon to do this as well as anybody in the country. Anyone who is found to have contracted the ailment will be isolated for their own safety and comfort and that of others. We We'll need your cooperation to do this. Preserving a healthy campus environment will be a responsibility we all share. And while the safety and well-being of our students is always a central preoccupation with this particular threat, as we've all learned, it is not our students, it is their elders, and particularly those with uh, pre-existing health conditions who are really at, um, could be at serious risk. We believe the campus experience is a very important part of a complete Purdue education and we are determined to do all we can uh, even during this passing pandemic to make sure that uh, you uh, have that experience and the benefits of it. Behind me here is the 1939 fountain. It's a centerpiece of campus, big part of Purdue tradition. You incoming students at some point in your time here will probably run through it in keeping with that long-standing custom. And a few years from now, in caps and gowns, you'll walk around it and up the stairs here and into Elliott Hall for one of Purdue's moving and matchless commencements. It's our full intention that you have that entire experience. We're going to do all we can. We'll work all summer to make sure that we can turn that fountain on and welcome you appropriately in August. See you then.